Hi, uh, Bob Bowman here at the uh, 2015 NAM show. Uh, we're talking about the uh, new Lynx E44 uh, PCI Express add-in card. Uh, the E44 is a uh, four analog in, four analog out, as well as four uh, digital IOs. Um, the digital I.O. can be select, selected to be in either ASCBU or SPDIF mode. The performance of the analog section is actually slightly better than our Aurora product, so if you like the sound of Aurora, there's an option for you to get four channels of, of Aurora plus analog performance. It comes with our SynchroLock low jitter uh, sample clock generation circuitry as well. Um, drivers for Windows, Mac, and uh, what we're showing here is, is kind of a fun application Actually, fun, actually very practical application. Uh, we've taken just an off-the-shelf um, ITX uh, chassis, off-the-shelf ITX motherboard, it has one piece of express slot, um, and created this very nice portable uh, recording system. Uh, you can see this one actually has a handle on it back here. Low cost, we have breakout cables that break out to XLR connectors that come out the backside to it. Um, Easy to set up. Anybody, anybody can build this. Uh, we have drivers for, for this, and if you had any sort of Mac-based product, you could do that as well, but this is a, obviously a Windows-based product. Um, I know a lot of folks are concerned about putting PCI or in, any audio cards inside of a, a, a computer. Um, this is an example of you know, some of the grounding and shielding techniques we use. There's a, the power supply is actually right behind the uh, PCI Express card here. And uh, you know, I, I do a lot of measurements, so obviously, to uh, make sure that we're maintaining transparent sound at the, uh, absolutely the lowest noise floor. And I can tell you that um, with, with this card in the chassis right next to the power supply, there's absolutely no interference or emissions from this uh, power supply getting into, into the, uh, the audio performance of the card. So you uh, don't have to worry about this being a lower performance system than a standalone rack mount device like Aurora's are. Um, Simple, easy to build, cheap, um, you know, and it's very portable, as we said. So, just something to think about for, for your next application as opposed to, you know, another rack mount device. In addition to just uh, building an entire PC out of an off the shelf chassis or motherboard, uh, there are a number of manufacturers that offer expansion chassis, which are essentially a chassis that will accept one or two PCI Express slots, uh, cards, and um, connect to your computer via Thunderbolt for instance, which is the most popular uh, uh, connection method these days. And uh, they've really gotten them down to their very low noise. They've, they've worked on the controlling the fan uh, to keep the noise down. The E44 doesn't generate a lot of heat, so you don't have to worry about uh, cooling that per se. It's mainly the other components that are inside of the chassis that you're dealing with. It's just a non-issue. Uh, look at some of these uh, other manufacturers like Magma, Sonnet, uh, a number of other ones that we've tested, and they work just as well, compact, easy to connect to your MacBook Pro or your other device, so another consideration.